hey everybody welcome to my channel as you can see i am still rock rocking my goddess locks they've been in for six weeks so i decided to do an update video for you guys this is how much new growth i have which is a pretty good amount um my edges were starting to look a little rough so instead of taking my hair down i decided to just do a little touch up now i've already finished the first row and now i'm just going to separate the second row from the rest of my hair and i'm going to start taking the lock down to take the lock down, you want to twist it in the opposite direction that you wrapped it. And once you do this, it's going to start loosening up the Marley hair that you wrap with. And once you um, identify the piece of Marley hair and separate it from the rest of the plait, then you're just going to take some scissors and you're going to cut it. Then you're just going to proceed to... Um, tug on the Marley hair and kind of slide it down until it comes off. Now that you've got the Marley hair off, you're going to find where your hair ends and you're going to cut right below it. So now I'm just going to take a metal rat tail comb and I'm going to unravel the plait. When I installed my locks, I crocheted the hair in, but I did not tie a knot at the base like I see some people doing, and this is why. When I get ready to take my hair down, I want to, to be able to easily remove the hair. And when you tie a knot, it makes it difficult because sometimes um, there's an accumulation of residue on your hair, just like I have right here on top of that knot, and it makes it um, very hard to take it loose. So to get rid of all the residue that I could not get to when I was washing my hair, I'm going to spray it with some apple cider vinegar and water to loosen all that up to break it down. I'm going to kind of rub it in a little bit. And then I'm going to take my rat tail comb and I'm going to slowly and gently comb all of that down to the end until I completely get it out of my hair. Now, um, you want to make sure you use a comb that that um, has teeth that are very close to each other so you can make sure you grab all of it. Now I'm just going to take a warm damp towel to make sure all the residue is gone and to wipe away some of the apple cider vinegar. Now I'm going to use some Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask to moisturize my hair and I'm going to follow that up with a little bit of uh, grape seed oil just to seal in moisture. So now that I'm done thoroughly moisturizing my hair, I'm just going to start making my plait. I'm going to plait about two or three inches down. Then I'm going to twist the rest of the way just to make sure the base of the plait stays tight. If you haven't seen my goddess lock um, installation video, I'll leave the link below because I'm not going to go into too much detail as to how I do my locks. But here is the hair that I use. It's by Model Model um, and it's soft, deep curl. And I'm just going to go ahead and install the wavy hair, followed by the Marley braid hair. And I'm going to follow those same steps uh, for the rest of that second row. And here is how my hair looks after the touch up. It basically refreshes my entire look and makes it look brand new. Just doing those two rows over again really 
kind of hides all of the imperfections beyond those two front rows. And um, this would allow my, ha my hair to last another six weeks. So if you've had your hair up for a while and your edges are starting to get pretty rough, just, you know, don't, don't feel like you have to take all of your hair down. Just go ahead and do a quick little touch up and you will be good to go. So that is my time, y'all. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below. Please hit the like button if this video was helpful. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys on the next video.